Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm going to be talking about all the books that I read in January. The first book I read this year was The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. This book is about a group of friends who graduated college together and every year for New Year's, they go on vacation together. This year, they decided to go to the Scottish Highlands. It's a very remote location. The book starts out on December 30th, and then by the time it's New Year's Day, one of them is dead, and one of the other friends did it. I gave it five stars. I would definitely recommend it. It was very interesting, the killer's motive. I couldn't predict it, and I, I really enjoyed that about this book. Um, Heather was my favorite character. All the other characters were kind of terrible, which I love to read from their perspective, but Heather was definitely my favorite. I'm very excited to read Lucy Foley's other book. I have The Paris Apartment, so I'm gonna add that to my TBR too. I really enjoyed this one. The second book I read this year is The Roommate by Rosie Dannon. So this book's about a girl named Claire. She thinks she's moving to California to be roommates with her high school crush, but when she gets there, he tells her that he is leaving on tour with his band and that he sublet his room to a stranger that he met on Craigslist. So Claire has to navigate life with this new roommate. This book's very spicy, very romantic. Um, when I realized what Josh's job was the roommate. I realized what his job was. My jaw hit the floor. I couldn't believe it. And like I said, if I had known that before, I probably wouldn't have read this book. But I did enjoy it. I gave it five stars. It also had just the right amount of spice and plot line. Sometimes you get these books and it's all spice, no plot. This one had a pretty good plot line. I, I enjoyed it. Five stars. The third book that I read this month is The Dare List by Rebecca Cyril. This book is about Sabrina who makes a list of five people that she would like to have dinner with, dead or alive. On the list she puts her old professor, her best friend, her dad, her ex-fiance, and Audrey Hepburn. When I read the description of this book I thought, oh this is going to be cheesy, but once I started reading it, I realized that it is not cheesy at all. This book is pretty deep. There's a lot of sad undertone in this book. So if you're wanting a book that will make you cry, you can pick this one. I definitely cried during this one. My first tears of 2023. I love the way that this book alternated between the dinner party and the past. I thought it was a very creative way to write. I loved how how much feels there were in this book. It was very good. Highly recommend. Five stars. The fourth book that I read this month is The Fountains of Silence by Rudy Cepetis. This is a historical fiction set in Madrid in 1957. The country's under a dictatorship, but tourists and business people are allowed to come into the, the country to help stimulate the economy. Daniel's in Madrid for the summer. His dad is an oil tycoon, and he meets Anna, who works at the hotel that he's staying at, and her family is weaved into the Spanish Civil War. You get to learn how the war affected Anna and different members of her family. I have to say that this is the best book that I read so far this year. Rudy Cepeda's writing is just so beautiful and she has a way of really emerging you into the setting that you're in without flooding you with too many details. Um, you don't really learn a whole lot about what happened before Anna and Daniel get there. You try to plop into their lives and how they see things and then further on in the book uh, things are explained to you. Seven. Best book I read so far this year. Five stars. The fifth book that I read this month is The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. I actually listened to this on audiobook. Um, I thought that this was very interesting. It's about a woman whose sales are taken from her and after she passes away, she, they realize that her sales keep growing and growing. They don't ever die off like normal sales do. 
Her cells were used to make a lot of medications and vaccines. Her family uh, never got credit for the cells being Henrietta's. And this book is about a journalist who comes in and tries to help this family spread the name of Henrietta Lacks and what all she did for science. Overall, I really enjoy reading this book. I gave it a three stars. I'm not a huge nonfiction fan, but it, I feel like it's important to read things like this so that you can understand what's going on in the world. This is a true story about a real woman whose cells were taken, and I think it's important to, to know things like this. The next book that I read this month is Happy, Happy, Happy by Phil Robertson. Uh, me and my husband love watching Duck Dynasty, and so when I found this book, I had to pick it up. I gave this book three stars. There were the parts that I liked the most were the parts about Phil's past and his family and his actual life. There were several chapters that were just about the duck calls and the sounds that duck makes, and I could have went without those chapters. And then there was another chapter about politics and I just I I don't really care about politics so I skimmed over those chapters but other than that I really found his life to be very interesting and so I gave it a uh, three stars and then I was wanting to show y'all this jar that I made I put all the books that are on my TBR for this year in this jar and then that way when I finish reading I can just draw another book out and I don't have to sit around and think and decide what I want to read. I can just go on to the next book. If you want to see what books I'm reading, I've been making YouTube short videos every month or every week when I draw a new book. So go watch my shorts and you can see exactly what I'm reading every week. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.